today and our goal is to try to get as much of the painting done as we can. There's still a ton of work to do on this project and we just need to get kind of the top, we're kind of working from the top down so that I can finish the floors. There's no point in me kind of redoing the floors yet or trying to install the floors when we're gonna get it, cover it with paint and sawdust and whatnot. So we're trying to get as much of the painting done as we can. Um, these walls are taking three or four layers of paint and we're also trying to figure out what things we want white and what things we want black. So we have decided that I'm gonna paint all the like lower cabinets, go oh, this way, all the lower cabinets black. And I think that might be good because as people are walking through with the white, you're probably gonna get a lot of scuff marks and things like that on these lower areas. So we've decided to do those black as well as the lower bathroom cabinet and um, a few of the lower areas. Oh yeah, this little area where we're gonna put the bistro set, we're gonna do just below the little molding there. We're gonna do that part black as well, especially since people's feet, if they're sitting on the chair, people's feet will kind of be on here. So that'll help if it's black instead of white. Ray has been doing an amazing job filling all of the holes and staple uh, marks you can see uh, all these little spots were just really unnecessary marks that you know who left in here fucking Larry uh, he just stapled like everywhere and really t terrible staple jobs so Ray has gone through smoothed everything out sanded everything and so we're gonna have a really nice finish once we're done painting we have kind of an odd situation in this bathroom because the way that he put it back together, he put just kind of these open, like one by ones here. These pieces of wood, I don't even know what, like th those were not in the original RV, of course. So, um, but he just somehow used them for whatever reason for structure when there's no structure to this wall. But, so what I've decided that I'm going to do, I think is take a little hint from my um, a tiki hut that I'm building and I'm going to cover this wall in artificial greenery and then I will install a, um, a little uh, towel hook right here on this little area right here so they still have the towel hook and then somewhere down here I'll have to put a toilet paper holder. Ray has started um, painting in here and I think that this bathroom is going to look really good once it's all painted it's probably gonna feel a lot big, bigger. It's a very small bathroom, but it's definitely going to feel bigger, obviously cleaner. We still have a lot of work to do on covering up the seams, all the seams in the shower and cleaning that up a lot. I'll have to figure out what I'm gonna do with that. I know they make like kind of shower paint and things like that, but we're also using this product that I got from Amazon, which is a um, caulking tape. So it's really, really, really sticky and it's supposed to be there to help seal the wall from the water. So we're using that as well as like silicone sealants and everything like that. And we're hoping to really seal this shower up so I don't have the same problems that I have in the other RV. Had to get some supplies. I need some paint stuff. Um, we're running out of, I let my paint brushes dry. <laughs> I'm the worst with paint y'all. I let my paint brushes, brushes dry out, so I'm gonna go get more of those as well as some um, paint trays and some more tape. And luckily I have a little hardware store three minutes from my house, which is rad. This place is packed full of every kind of crazy ass supply you could need, hardware supply. We also have an Ar Armstrong's Gardens right there, so I get some plants, some plants to go with my stuff. And even an auto zone. All my little projects are set. place is packed full of everything. Oh, there's something I need over here. Let's see. Everything. They have everything. Look at that little flamingo.
I'm pretty happy with what we got done today. I think it looks really good. We did a lot of just touch up painting. We got this whole little bistro area painted the black. Um, we did the bottom area of the bathroom, which I'm loving the black on the bottom and the white on top. We were waiting to see how it looked in the bathroom and to see kind of how the paint would react with the wood before we did the kitchen. So the kitchen is next. We're gonna do the same thing, the black on the bottom and all the white on top. We got all the detail done over here by the bed. So I'm just gonna do one more coat again on the bed, which um, we just used as a baseboard today. After we finish painting, we will put the same um, tile here that we have on the backsplash area of the kitchen, which is gonna look super cool. Um, and I also have then to install the greenery here. And I also have to figure out what I wanna do with this wall, cause this is like the biggest wall in the whole entire RV. And it could definitely have something really cool on it, but it's a little bit hidden. So you're really only gonna see it when you're sitting in this little couchy area. You don't see it when you come in, walk in or anything like that. So I'm gonna figure out something cool and creative. Maybe it'll just be an art piece or something like that. So that's all for today. I'm tired, I'm hot, and um, I'm starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Very excited.